Hello everybody, Dr. Matt Pennell here at Element Health and Wellness. Today I want to talk to you about slow office days. It happens to all of us, we hate it, it hurts the pocket, but uh, you know, hey, it happens. So especially when you're newer in business, you can expect these slow days to occur quite a bit more often than you obviously hope to down the road. But one way or another, even for the busy guys, it happens, okay? So slow office days, what do we do? Three main things, all right? Number one, catch up. Okay, this is the time to get anything done that has been slacking, right? If we are missing back-end paperwork, notes aren't completed, uh, if you do personal injury, there are a lot of back-end uh, processes and bills to send off. Catch-up work is extremely important. It takes a load off your shoulders, gets you back into action and ready to roll, okay? You don't have to spend your whole slow day doing that, but catching up is extremely important. So what's number two? Number two, it's gonna be outreach, okay? Community outreach. All right, and what are we doing with community outreach? There are a lot of different ways to approach this, but for me, uh, I look at how can I build my referral sources, all right, and what sources do I need? So if you're a chiropractor like myself, you look at within your profession field, who can I send the most referrals to and who can potentially refer to me, all right? Physician to re physician referrals are always going to be your best so primary care physicians okay orthopedic surgeons pain management specialists uh, regenerative medicine and if you do personal injury attorneys okay they're great we can refer to them they can refer to us it's good for everybody all right so that's one form of outreach now those are typically the harder referrals to get so if you're a little intimidated by that start with a few of the easier ones okay and some of those are gyms, personal trainers, uh, physical therapists, you know, and, and gym can be anything. It doesn't have to be a box gym, it can be CrossFit. Go to the things that you like to do, okay? Um, the reason I say start with something that's a little bit easier is you wanna build some confidence, okay? Getting no slapped in your face a lot, unless you're tough, ready to go, and you, you know what you're in for, it, it can hurt a little bit, it can sting. So start out with those gyms, personal trainers, uh, really because they get it. They're very similar to us. They have clientele that needs to get better quickly in order for them to make more money. Um, and there's a lot, of, you know, a lot of good things behind what they do. So we can refer to uh, personal trainers because we need something to help our, our patients out down the road. So outreach is extremely big, okay? Uh, any questions on that, let me know. We can do more about the referral sources later. Number three, oh, my pen. Number three is going to be prep work. Okay, so on the prep work side, now we're looking at how we can go further, right? How we can get busy again. And these things will all make us busy, but catching up is not gonna make us busy, right? It helps us so that we can be ready to go outreach is going to in turn make us busy over time the prep work is now setting meetings okay and so that means we want to chat with these people about setting a time that we can meet um, having them come by our office to see what's going on and then for the prep work also events you know if it's march we're not going to set an event for march maybe something last minute but typically we need to look three four five six months out even to these events running cycling all that stuff now you combine all of this and this will turn your slow day into something much faster and you'll see quite a few uh, um, busier days lined up as you go. All right, so you wanna know how to get rid of the slow days? Here you go.